All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. I'm here with my friend Bill again. Hey guys. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace a fuel pump on his 2014 Mazda. Is it S Sport? Uh, it's or a three Sport. Three Sport. Hatchback, yeah. Mazda three hatchback. All right, so you got the new pump there. Yep. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, we already removed the seat here and popped the cover and it was rusty as heck. As you can see, he took the seat off here and here's your panel uh the bolts are already uh loosened up on here uh but i did tell him spray it down because you'll see i had him spray it down for a couple days with the pv blast uh hopefully we can get the screws out in here without having them uh strip out because they are really rusted but i'll let bill go ahead and take this out take the cover off and then a few other parts that i got was this uh this ring was about i think like thirty dollars and this cover was about uh, $30 as well. Yeah, because you'll see that the cover is like totally rusted and you definitely need a gasket um, if you're putting a new one in. It, it's just worth it, to, peace of mind to throw that in. Now pull that cover off and show us. Oh yeah, this is bad. Wow. Yep, look at that. So, and that's after that actually looks better than the pictures do because uh, you actually have PV blast sprayed all over it, but it was so rusty. I mean, you can obviously tell it's rusty. You can see just how rusted out this thing is, and that's even after being sprayed with PV blast. But we're going to take some paper towels and we're going to clean up around where the uh, screws are in here, and hopefully we'll be able to get them out. I mean, they do look really bad, so we may have some trouble with them, but we'll get them. Stuff out of the way. You don't want anything falling in there either. And we did unpl unplug the electrical here, and all it is press in on these two little tabs right here, and it pulls right out. <laughs> this is why you gotta try and get both sides. Yeah, a little more. Yep. All right, sweet. Let's get this gas up. So we got that off now, and we got it unplugged. We should be able to, yep, yeah, we'll be able to pry this right off of here. All right. Oh. Look at that. Nasty. Actually doesn't look too bad underneath, but, oh, look at it, see how that pop, it's popping right up? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So th this retainer ring is what holds that down, and because it's it was rusting up all through here, it was causing it to leak too. And that gasket will definitely need to be replaced. Oh, here it comes. It's coming up right at us. We didn't have to even take it out. Yeah. Oh, because the it's floating too, right? The yeah. gasoline is pushing it up. Yeah. Cool. All right, so you just got to be careful not to get stuff down in there. Take this out of here. Gasket's kind of stuck on there. Just be careful you don't push anything in there. Well, all the rust. There we go. Of course, he brings it over with a full tank. <laughs> Take this whole thing, All right. bring that outside. And we did have to go to the dealership to get new screws. Uh, but one thing we're gonna do with this, of course, here in the rust belt, we're gonna put some never seize on it. And we're actually gonna coat the top of the screws as well with some never seize. So hopefully he won't ever run into this issue again where the retainer is uh, rusted down with the screws. So we got our new fuel pump here. And we already put our gasket around here. And this is going to slip in just like this. And we're going to center it up on here. Got to take this off. So 
So see how that pushes down and then the ring seals around this and this is the position you want it in. And then we can go ahead put our ring on and we'll line up the screw holes on here. And there's the part number from the dealership 9983 TAC 30 TAC 408. And they come in packs of five and you need eight of them. And I'm just going to put a little bit on there. And we're going to get one in. Get it started. And we're going to put one on the other side. All right, so we got all eight screws in now, and we're gonna go ahead and coat the top of these with some never sees because that because you want this you want to be able to get these off if you need to. Rust belt covering got never sees on all the screws now. So this is all together there. All right, a little rubber thing came out of here. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in. Got it back in. So now we can go ahead and plug this in. There we go, heard it click in. Now we take our fuel line and this is just gonna snap right back into here. Just like that. All right, so everything is back together and we got the new fuel pump in, got the new retainer on, all new screws, all never see. So hopefully we'll be able to get them out in the future. All right, so everything is complete now. So once again, we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Bye, guys.